Well, imagine our military men and women in combat and un unable to communicate with each other properly. Thanks to a major milestone at Fort Gordon today, that scenario will not happen. A new school will help upgrade the communications lines. The combined effort, industry, the military, the equipment it's providing is the single most important command and control support element that we are putting out and that we will put out in the next generation. So the school was established here at Fort Gordon to provide the MOS and leader development training for the mobile subscriber equipment as it was being fielded to the Army over, I think it was about a decade. GT was contracted to train the MSC equipment. There were three main courses, transmission, switching, and nodal operation. MSC really revolutionized um, how the Signal Corps did business from soup to nuts. It created new force designs, new MOSs, new ways of training. It was all new technology. Much of it was digital um, and it was, it was an entirely new way of doing business. So we had to train our soldiers completely different. We were at Brems Barracks from May of 1989 until December of 1998. The difference between back then and now is the environment that we're training in. Back then we were in the, out in the elements. Uh, we were out there in the heat, in the cold, and in the driving rain. We needed a, a capability that could be very adaptive to the needs of the soldier in terms of training and the system's architecture as well. I remember when Desert Shield and Desert Storm occurred, it was nerve-wracking because we knew that we had to train not just good soldiers, but great soldiers. Well, people took their job serious. They took the training serious. Uh, the soldiers understood what lied in ahead of them. After they were done with us, they knew where they were going. In 1998, we moved from Brins Barracks to Brent Hall. This move ushered in an era of great change. I had the pleasure of commanding the 63rd Signal Battalion in Iraq in 2003 and 2004 during the initial combat operations. Um, we deployed with the MSE network that, and, and we made it work as it was designed to do. But it, it was very apparent early on that we were quickly outrunning the distances that the MSC network provided with regards to its line of sight radio network. We really needed a lot more SATCOM than we had available in the network and that the Army had in the network at the time. So when we came back and we got to reassess, um, it was very prudent that the Army decided to go after a JNN type network that had many more um, satellite communications terminals, could deploy that uh, network from all the way down to brigade and down to battalion level uh, for the first time ever um, and, and that was a very good design. WIN-T was kind of the beginning of a new era for the land war net school. It introduced us to new technologies, a new way of training, new requirements for not only the staff but also for the student and for our developers. The battle, the war in Iraq, the war on terror was in full swing. When t at that time, JNN, a satellite communication system that allowed beyond the horizon communication. JNN was a major event for Atlanta one at school. Not only did it change what we were training and how we were training it, it also meant we were developing material for a course that the Army had not yet stood up. The 25 November 10 course had to be developed and made available within one year, which was a major undertaking. That course was developed in October of 2005. The very first 25 November 10 class arrived and graduated 20 weeks later. The use of simulations had a huge impact on the way we do training. Now our simulations are not only used in the classroom, but also for sustainment training, new equipment training, and I think more importantly, they are preloaded onto the GD shelters for performance support upon delivery.
In addition to PC Sims, we also have the Nodal Network Simulator, also known as the NNS. And this particular product came about when there was a demand for training during a capstone exercise, but no equipment was available. It's a collaborative, collective uh, training simulation that's networked and can be accessed locally and globally. This particular solution totally changed how we do training. The reason it changed training is because it reduced the amount of time it takes to train one soldier on the equipment. It also saves money in terms of maintaining equipment. Land War Net School has incorporated the Army Learning Model. It's exciting to come to work every day. Prior to the Army Learning Model, we only changed what we train. But now, we've had to change how we train. ALM's pretty exciting. We don't teach the way that we used to back in the old days with this instructor standing behind a podium and just telling the students what they need to hear and getting no feedback at all. That's really not learning. It's not how students learn. Service members learn differently than when I came in in 1980. Uh, they're digital natives. They grow up with technology. We're trying to teach them to be critical thinkers. So we've incorporated a dynamic network throughout the entire facility. It's wireless. So they're walking through the facility with their handheld device, obtaining the information at the point of need. Our closed network allows us to manipulate training to deliver live simulated training events. Let's go out and check out this equipment that you've uh, never seen before. By the way, take out your smart device, walk over to that wall, and do the QR code. You want to see a, a big piece of equipment? There's a QR code for it. Download it. You get a virtual tour now. As you're walking down the hallway with me, you can start going through the equipment and seeing how it works, how it's hooked together, what it looks like, the names of it. And by the time the tour is going on, you're asking me intelligent questions about this piece of equipment that you're going to use as soon as you leave here. We've all but eliminated PowerPoint. We've gone to HTML format. The training is dynamic. It's video based. We had to add skill sets that we didn't have before. Robust video creation, 3D modeling, instructional programming. And these new skill sets allowed us to create content that was in a 3D gaming environment that would produce context for the soldier. Now all this information is not only here at Land Warnet School, it's on the internet, Land Warnet University. I teach them how to find it, not only here, but when they're at their unit. So they go to Land Warnet University. Every CBT, every video, every TM, every TB that's out there is in Land Warnet University. Really what we're doing is a game changer, I think for not only the Signal Corps, but the entire Army. Win T Increment 2 was another major milestone for Atlanta War Net School. Again, this was a change in what we were training. Win T Increment 2 was our first look at communications on the move. Prior uh, to uh, Increment 2, uh, all of our equipment was stationary. It provided communications down to the company level. New technology came about. Uh, that required us to train new skill sets for soldiers. Win T Increment 2 has been a capability that has not only challenged and been rewarding for Atlanta War Net School, it has provided communications and a means for the Army well into the 21st century. The driving force behind our success has been our people. Our people have dedicated the better part of their lives to the service of their country, either as members of the military and or as a part of the Land War Net School team. Training soldiers is their passion, and they have proven over the years to be an adaptive, agile workforce that can overcome new challenges with evolving technology to produce well-trained, critical thinking soldiers for our Signal Regiment. As an organization, our goal is to be an integral part of the TRADOC team here at Fort Gordon and to be good neighbors within the surrounding communities. General Dynamics and its employees have been active members of the community through their support of the Fort Gordon Fisher House and the Fisher House Foundation worldwide. Fort Gordon Augusta Chapter of AUSA, United Way of the CSRA, Toys for Tots, and many more. We also show our ultimate support for our soldiers through Red Shirt Fridays. 
The last 25 years have been a rewarding journey, and I think I can speak for the entire General Dynamics organization when I say it has been our honor and privilege to serve you, and we want to renew our commitment as loyal members of the Cyber Center of Excellence team.